What's your question? Where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm here to make you guys like the greatest Fortnite player you can possibly be. You know, edit selection is like one of the biggest skill gaps in the game today. See, it's normal for players to stick to a few edits they're comfortable with. But keeping your mind open to new edits that you don't normally do might just take your gameplay to the next level. All right, so today we're going to be showing you some overlooked edits that you should add to your play style. And uh, hey, if you learned something in today's video, you better not forget to like and subscribe. But before we get started, it's time to get my favorite candy help me out y'all come on i know you know this it's that bunch of crunch and let's get this going all right, so first on this list, we got window edits. Now, all right, I know what you're thinking. Windows are like one of the most common edits in the game. And while that may be true, a lot of players fail to utilize this edit correctly. You know, it's pretty common for players to make a, like a middle window edit and attempt to trade shotgun shots with their opponent, right? And so while this type of play might have worked back in the old days, it won't fly against average players in chapter three. You know, the thing that's so great about window edits is the fact that no matter where you're positioned, you can always give yourself a right hand angled on the wall. Like if you're standing towards the left of the wall make a middle window edit if you're standing near the center of the wall make a right window edit and if you're on towards the right of the wall you're going to want to move towards the center because there really aren't any good angles that you can take from that position so just make sure guys that you're somewhat close to the wall you're editing or else your opponent could have a clear shot on you you know window edits aren't only useful for taking shots either like windows are one of if not the best edits that you can use to peace control your opponent just like we talked about before you know window edits can give you guys a fantastic right hand peek where your opponent it can't even really see you and so this means that you can cone off or even fully box your opponent while taking absolutely no damage. One of our favorite piece control plays is actually using the window edit. For this move, all right, what you wanna do is position yourself near the center of the wall. From there, all you really need to do is select the far right window and confirm it. This next part is important, so you gotta listen up. Pull out your cone blueprint and place a cone on the floor. After that, with your cone blueprint still out, look upwards and place a cone above the wall. Now that you got the floor and roof piece, pull out your wall blueprint and place one directly behind the cone and after that just look to your left and place another wall on this left side if at this point your opponent is towards the right side of the box it's a good idea to place another wall on the far right to just prevent them from escaping all right finally pull out your weapon and take a right hand shot on the enemy Congrats, man. You just fully pieced your opponent so if you want to learn more about peace control head on over to our other peace control videos on our channel all right, or you can even head over to ProGuys.com where you got some of the best Fortnite coaches in the world waiting 24 hours a day, seven days a week to help you improve at Fortnite. It's dope. All right, so next up on our list is another edit that you're likely familiar with, but might not be utilizing to the best of your ability. The top three tile selection is a staple edit in both the pro and casual community. And so this edit is great because it's just easy to do and it really just gives you guys a pretty solid angle for hitting a headshot on your opponent. You know, there are two main plays that we recommend that you do using this edit. So the first one being a cone at your feet, select the top three tiles, but just don't confirm it just yet. Move backwards behind your cone and crouch down. Once you're in a comfortable position, guys, confirm the edit, uncrouch, and take a shotgun shot while aim down sights. And so after landing the shot, quickly look down and reset your wall as fast as you can to avoid taking damage. This is going to be a bit easier for you keyboard players out there, but you know, controller players can still do this play just as well with some practice. The next play using this edit is much riskier, but can be very effective if done right. With the top three tile edit, you are completely hidden from the opponent as long as you're crouched down and hugged up against the wall without a cone or just ramp at your feet. This means that you can hit some pretty nasty jump shots in your opponent. So once you're in position, we mentioned simply just double click your jump bind to quickly uncrouch and jump into the air. If done correctly, it's gonna be difficult for your opponent to predict where you're gonna peek since you're fully hidden behind the wall. Like we said before, this play is not gonna work in every single situation. So we recommend doing this play only if your opponent is at least one or more tiles away from you. You know, the reason for this is that, you know, their position in the tile in front of you, they could easily just toss a ramp or cone in your box to peace control you. So just make sure guys that you only only do this play when it's viable or else you're gonna get punished by an advanced player. All right, so the next edit on our list is gonna be much easier to perform using a keyboard and mouse, but there are plenty of controller players who can do this edit just as fast. All right, so for those of you on the sticks, you know, you really just wanna make sure that your sensitivity settings are optimal. Feel free to check out our chapter three controller settings and sensitivity video on the Pro Guides YouTube channel, all right? Now that's out of the way, let's get into this edit. The top six tile edit, you know, has been gaining traction in the pro scene for only a couple of seasons now, but, but players like Clicks and Dukes have proven the edit to be viable. This edit functions similarly to 
to the top three tile edit we just covered, but it can be much more effective against advanced players who, you know, would normally just spray out your wall and just reclaim it. So this is due to only around 10% of the wall being visible to the enemy. And if they're playing with the cone at their feet, it's nearly impossible for them to have an angle to spray and replace the wall. All right, so to start, you're going to want to be standing on a cone. Start by selecting the middle row far left window tile. Next, drag your crosshair to the right along the middle row. At this point, the entire middle row should be selected, but don't confirm just yet. After that, all right, you're going to want to drag your crosshair up to the tile above where you currently are and just finally drag your crosshair to the left, selecting the entire top row. Okay, so at this point, the top six tiles will be selected, but you don't want to confirm the edit just yet. Like if you confirm this edit while standing in your comb, your opponent is going to have an extremely clear and easy angle on you. Basically, just throwing yourself into a 50-50 situation. All right, so since the whole goal of the proper edit selection is to give yourself the upper hand, you're going to want to walk backwards and crouch behind your comb. Similar to what we did with the top three tile edit. Once you're crouched and hidden behind the cone, you can confirm your edit. Just like the top three edit, we recommend quickly uncrouching and taking a shotgun shot where you're aimed down sights, then resetting the wall as fast as you can. All right, so once you get comfortable with selecting these six tiles quickly, you should practice selecting the tiles as you move backwards and into your hidden position. And so this is gonna save time and be much less predictable, you know, for your opponent. All right, so like we mentioned previously, it's gonna be very difficult for your opponent to spray and replace your wall when you do this edit. All right, so the best time to do this edit, guys, is when they're in mid spray on your wall. Since, you know, the portion of the wall in which they're shooting is gonna disappear, they're gonna be less spraying at nothing. I'm prepared to trade shots with you. All right, last but certainly not least on our list is the opposite corner cone edit. You know, when most players hear edit selection, they automatically think of walls and ramps, right? But learning how to manipulate your cones to confuse your opponent is just as important. You know, to do this edit, simply just select any two opposite corner tiles and confirm. And so this is gonna create an odd looking double Dorito type structure. And for those of you using edit on release, this is going to work a little differently. So just bear with me, all right? All you need to do is just select the tile closest to you and confirm, then immediately select the tile on the opposite corner and confirm that as well. This does the same exact job and can be done just as quick with some practice. Now, you're probably thinking, how in the heck is this gonna be used to my advantage? Well, let me say this. You have a player fully boxed with a cone. Of course, you can just take a right hand peek using your wall, which is great. But if you do that multiple times in a row, the opponent's gonna be ready for it and could take some crucial damage. And so after getting some initial damage, just in, you know, instead going for another right hand peek, catch them off guard, you know, make a bottom corner triangle edit, then immediately do the opposite corner cone edit. If the opponent is on the cone, nine times out of 10 guys, the edit's gonna drop them from mid air with their field of view being blocked. And so as they fall, you can just pull out your shotgun and finish them off before they even have time to react. All right, so this is only one example of a situation that you could use this edit in. So get creative, guys. All right, if you're a Clicks fan, you've definitely seen him trick his opponents with variations of this move a handful of times. However, we still admit that this edit works a lot better in a hard-hitting pump meta, but this can definitely still be used in Chapter 3. But of course, tell me where you at, your motivation guy is back. Hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe to the channel, to all your friends, what's going down on Pro Guides, and make sure, man, let, let us know in the comments, you know, what you guys want to learn more about. Connect to my Instagram at yourmotivationguy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.